there as well. They've got a really good crossfire set up if they continue to push their way forward. Oh. There's that crossfire that I was talking about. Sudokas swings out. Defo gets dropped. Yeah, Defo, not a trade in sight, not a lick of damage either. Gets taken out and once again, Gambit on the back foot. Saucy, this timing. Yes. Oh, unfortunate for Saucy. Redgar makes the read. Beautiful push to equalize things. That at least gives Gambit some shining light at the end of the tunnel in the last round of this half. So they've got, you just saw Sadak drop the, the poison orb down short. The setup is intended to allow you to creep your way up a short uh, without having to give off very much at all. The combination of the wall and the orb gives you just enough cover to make your way forward you want undetected. To That's exactly what they're doing. Now they have the Cosmic Divide coming out as well to split the, the site 30 seconds left. in two. They haven't fully breached their way through that yet as GTN gets the spike down. A good flash coming up from Shados. Not able to land any of the shots. Sadak is, however, as the numbers advantage still in favor of Vikings. What a flash, what a play. I thought that would be everything, but Sadak is just so oh, ready. Oh. Red guard, that's crispy. He's gonna need at least another. Yeah, and the showstopper out from GTN, I was about to mention it. He's able to really just use that to zone. Nats doesn't really have anywhere to go. He's gotta buy time for Red guard to make a play. That's exactly what he does. Red guard's gotten three on the round. This is still doable, but they're gonna have to get on the horse. They're gonna have to do something quick. You have so much Astro Utility littered around the spike. That's exactly what happens. Redgar's fourth. The gravity well, Redgar's fifth. You asked for a spike, Potter. That very well may be it. He's gotta get the defuse, though, first. Oh. Okay, 2.65.